Welcome back, guys, to Photoshop Essentials Mastering the Basics, a seven day crash course. I'm Ambry, the digital design guru. Um, today, we're going to be diving into our next module, um, which is going to be about basic photo editing techniques. Uh, last modules, we talked about layers, layer styles. We talked about selections and basic selection techniques. And just an introduction to Photoshop, we did an overview of the interface. So we're moving along and we are going to be working on those basic photo editing techniques today. So the objective for today's lesson, you'll have a foundational understanding of essential photo editing techniques in Adobe Photoshop, which will ultimately enable you to enhance and retouch your images effectively. So we're going to learn the essentials in um, today's lesson. So the agenda, um, we're gonna keep it short. Introduction to editing te editing tools. I'm gonna overview and discuss some basic tools. Uh, we're just gonna talk about uh, four tools that you can use for retouching. I'm gonna demonstrate those four tools and then you guys can spend some time practicing and look over the uh, design challenge to kind of help you with developing your understanding of these editing tools. Alrighty, so uh, diving in, um, I just wanted to take some time in this section. We're going to dive into some key editing tools that are fundamental to enhancing your images in Adobe Photoshop. And these, these tools are like your artistic brushes. So they're going to help you transform your photographs into some stunning visual narratives. So let's take a closer look at each tool and understand how each one plays a crucial like role in editing images. And so the first one that we're going to start off with is the crop tool, cropping, which is something that I'm sure many of you are familiar with. The crop tool is something that's um, visible in a lot of um, softwares where you are editing images, whether it's on your phone or if you're using Canva or any type of platform where you have to crop even in your Google Docs or PowerPoint, you might be introduced to crop. And so um, the crop tool isn't just about resizing your image. It is almost like um, it's like reimagining the composition of your of your image. And so by cropping your image, you can remove distracting elements. Um, it can help you adjust the framing and even change the ratio, the size ratio to more something that's a little bit more visually balanced. And so the crop tool ultimately it should empower you to like focus on those essential parts of your image and pretty much eliminate anything that's distracting maybe in the back or um, around or next to you, just focus on that main subject. And so the crop tool is gonna be located in your tools panel on the left-hand side, if you have your tools panel on the left-hand side. Um, and let's see, let's find my crop tool. So mine's not visible. So I'm gonna go to here. And this actually was the last tool that I used. Um, I was using the crop tool for a particular project. And so my crop tool is here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So here is my crop tool. There we go, there we go. And it just looks like two, um, two like angles on top of each other. And I'm gonna demonstrate the crop tool in just a little bit, but I just wanted to kind of show you where it was located. That next tool that will help with editing um, photos is your exposure adjustment. So exposure adjustment, there are a few different ways that you can access your exposure adjustment. And this tool just allows you to control the brightness and the darkness of your image. With exposure adjustments, you can pretty much rescue images that are too dark or too bright and bring out the details in the shadows and the highlights. If you maybe taking a picture outside and the sun was too bright, or if you taking a picture inside and it was too dark, your exposure adjustment might be something that you can fine tune and adjust to kind of improve the overall tone of your image and make it a little bit more vibrant. So to find that exposure adjustment, there are a few ways that you can do this. If you go to the top in your menu bar, if you click on image, and I don't have an image selected, so let me select the image really quickly. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do this and we'll select the logo. And so if I go to image here and I go to adjustments, here is my exposure here. 
And so if you kind of take a moment, you can see that there are a few different um, adjustments that you can make. You can adjust the brightness, the contrast, levels, curves, um, black and white. I mean, there's so many things, shadows and highlights. And then you also have the option if you don't really want to kind of toy with any of these. And again, I'm going to explore these in just a little bit. You can also use the auto tone and the auto contrast and auto color adjustment, which it like automatically does it for you. So similar to your phone, when you're editing a picture in your phone, the little um, magic wand, you click the little magic wand, your phone reads it and just spews out some adjustments. It's the same concept. So those are a few different ways that you can edit your image using adjustments, exposure adjustments. Um, the next one, which is color correction, which I kind of just showed you guys where that's located. And the color correction is another powerful tool in editing. And it's all about making sure the colors in your image are kind of accurate and natural. And sometimes due to lighting conditions again, or your camera settings, or if you're in a dark area, this might be something that you might want to use. So the color correction tool lets you adjust the colors and the tones in your scene. And so again, you can use the auto color here, or you can go back to adjustments and you can balance that color here. So there are a few ways that you can do that. All righty. And last but not least, I just want to touch on some retouching tools, which I'll demonstrate in just a little bit, which are some tools that you can use to kind of help you Digitally make up like a makeup kit, allow you to like remove blemishes, maybe some imperfections, some distractions from your images, maybe some stray hair, some wrinkles or any unwanted objects. Um, so some retouching tools that you can use. If we go back to our toolbar here, let's look for some retouching tools that you guys can add to your arsenal. So doo -doo 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 -doo, I'm looking for the healing brush, which aren't visible. So if you go to edit more, and here we are, we have your spot healing brush here. This is a really good one to use. Uh, it removes marks and blemishes. Really, really good. If you kind of take a look at the little tutorial here, it gives a little demonstration, but I'll show you guys in just a little bit. Um, you also have your healing brush. Another good tool to use. This is really good with repairing imperfections. Like if you have any blemishes on your face, this is another one that you can use. Um, another one that I commonly use, let's see. Uh, I would say another essential, the red eye tool. Um, that's a really good one to use for retouching. It fixes the red eye effect. Like if you flash your camera, you notice you have that red eye. This is a good one that you can use for retouching. Um, let's see, uh, you have your remove tool. This is a good one as well. Anything that looks like a Band-Aid. So this is a good one and it just easily removes any distractions like objects, people, buildings. It's another way of doing like content aware feel. If you've used Photoshop before, you know what that is. Um, and, um, Let's see, give you guys one more that you can kind of add to your little bank. Uh, I would say, mm, I mean, there's so many. There, there really are so many, and I don't want to overwhelm you guys with too many. Uh, I would say the clone stamp. I would say the clone stamp. So the clone stamp is a really good one, too, to use for uh, kind of repairing your image, and it just allows you to kind of like copy a piece of your image like clone it, copy it, and then stamp it on another area to hide it. So if you kind of look at this image here, it's like cloning a space of the blue and it's hiding some of the cherries. So this is a good one to use too for repairing. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna demonstrate some of these tools, some of these different features, uh, the color correction, exposure adjustments, as well as the crop tool. Just so you guys can kind of get the overall understanding of each, I can demonstrate how they're used, maybe how you can apply them. And each of these tools definitely serve a unique purpose in the art of photo editing. So if you can master these tools, you'll definitely be able to have the ability to kind of create some extraordinary photographs and basically transform your images. Um, so definitely take some time to practice with it. Um, what I want you guys to do um, in your module i've already provided you an image that you can use for practicing i have it already saved on my computer so i'm gonna go ahead and open it up 
Uh, let's see. And it's this one. And it's just an image. Um, my son and I, we were at the park. We took a picture of these ducks here. And I thought this one was a really good one because if you kind of kind of notice, yeah, it's outside. So we're in underneath the tree. So the kind of the lighting's a little bit off. So we can do some adjustments and we can kind of adjust this image here. So first thing I want to do, I want to show you that crop tool. So I'm going to go ahead and nab my crop tool. And where is my crop tool? Here's my crop tool here. And actually, before we do that, let me duplicate this layer because I'm going to be doing a lot of tweaking and demonstrations and I want to at least keep one for good quality and hide it. Alrighty. So my crop tool, I have my crop tool selected. And then of course we know that any tool that we have selected changes our options and gives us some settings here. So here is my settings for my crop tool. Now we're going to just kind of touch on a few of them. I'm going to start working my way from the left to right. Uh, with your crop tool, you have the option to basically use some of the crop preset size that Adobe gives you. So if you want it to be cropped in a certain width or height, maybe consider using some of these presets or you can create your own, of course. You can clear those crop presets. So if you've set some values in here and you don't like them, you can hit clear. You also have the option to straighten the image which is a good one. Um, let's see, I don't think it'll let me do it because my image isn't really necessarily cricket, but just to kind of show you a demonstration. So say my image was taken and it was a little bit tilted and I want it to be straight. If you take this and draw a line along the horizon, just imagine that it's cricket and around this, this line. What it'll do is it'll kind of twist your image. And again, my image isn't cricket, so it's kind of hard to demonstrate here. But it'll straighten that image along that horizon. That's a really good feature to use. Um, and then, of course, you have um, your grids. If you like to use grids, maybe you like to use the rule of thirds. Sometimes I do, and you want to kind of crop your image. So let's see, I want to use the rule of thirds here. So I'm just clicking and I'm dragging. I'm doing a free-handed crop. All right, so my rule of thirds, I got these three little boxes. Um, I want my focal point to be on the ducks, right? So I can crop it and make some adjustments. I want just the ducks, right? Okay, so I think I'm okay with this. Before anything's confirmed, you will go to the top, hit yes or no. I'm okay with it. And then it cropped my image. Crop tool is super easy um, to use. Um, it's not really too complex just kind of got to play with it. And again, it's a really good tool to use to eliminate anything distracting in the background. The next one is your exposure adjustments. So I want to adjust some of my exposures in my image. I can go up here, image, and I'm gonna tinkle with some of these autos so I can show you kind of how those work. So say I wanted to auto color, it gives me an auto color, I'll undo. If I wanted to auto contrast, not much change. I'm still undo it just in case. If I wanted to auto tone, again, not much change. Undo it just in case. I'm pretty particular. I like to kind of do it myself. So I'm gonna go to adjustments. And we're gonna just mess with just the exposures for the day. But if you wanted to kind of play with anything else, feel free. So I have my exposure window that just popped up here. And if you check preview, it allows you to kind of preview what you're doing just to kind of see whether it is if you like it or not. Um, it gives you some presets that you can use if you want to use some of their presets. So notice that I'm kind of clicking on some of these presets and it's adjusting that exposure. Okay. But I think I want to kind of do it myself. And just kind of like playing with it just to kind of see what it does. And just getting it the way that you like. And it just practicing with these just definitely helps. Um, just so you can kind of get comfortable with it. And I'm just, just so you can kind of see.
Okay, I am think I'm okay with that. So if you wanted to go back and kind of play with some of the highlights, maybe some of the shadows, I see a lot of shadows, so it's kind of bothering me. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of toy with those a little bit. And kind of remove some of those shadows. I'm okay with that. And go back and we'll just kind of toy with one more so you guys can kind of get the uh kind of get the understanding of it. Let's toy with some of the brightness. This is a really simple one to kind of mess with too. All right, I think I'm okay with this for now. Um, some of the advanced uh, photo editings will be like uh, co curves, levels. These are my usually go-to uh, curves and levels. Um, some other ones will maybe if you want to mess with the vibrance, saturation, um, maybe the HDR toning, um, if you really, really want to kind of get advanced with it. But um, just messing with the auto, the auto tones, the auto colors, and the um, exposure adjustments are some basic ones just to get you started. And I mean, just by looking at the original, so this is the new one, hide this one, this was the original. I mean, you can already see like a difference in the two um, just by doing those little tweaks. And so the next one, I want to kind of show you guys how to toy with. We're going to play with some of those um, those tools, those healing tools, just so you can see what some of those do. And I'm not going to demonstrate all of them. Um, if you're curious about anyone in particular, like I said in previous modules, if you uh, hover over it, it'll show you a demonstration. But you can also click on Watch More, and it gives you a tutorial on it. Um, I'm going to use... Oh, uh, let's see. I don't even need anything really to heal. Uh, let's do the spot healing brush. Okay, so I got my spot healing brush selected. Um, and maybe I can heal this little orange piece right here. So with my spot heal brush selected, of course, I have my settings here that's changed. And it looks kind of like the same cursor as your your paintbrush i want to make it a little bit bigger so i'm gonna go here and i want to make it a little bit bigger okay that's good so i can kind of see what i'm doing and just see what happens when i heal this little area so see it kind of made my that little orange whatever piece feather go away so that's a really simple one that you can use uh say i wanted to maybe see what it does and sometimes it works sometimes you kind of gotta tinkle with it just a little bit make that go away um what else could we make go away guys uh let's see what happens try to see if we can make the dirt go away and make it all green grass there we go Really cool stuff. And this is a really simple one to use. So we might as well just do all of them, right? And I mean, you probably have to go in and kind of clean it up. I'm really doing some uh, hard drags. If you kind of just click one time, depending on the image, that might be a little bit more effective. So I'm kind of getting more to the front of my image here and I, I want it to be a little bit neater. So I'm just gonna do some light clicks. Light clicks, light clicks, light clicks. And I'll probably continue to kind of mess with this image a little bit further, um, just to kind of get it a little bit lighter. But I mean, so far so good. I mean, I've, I've pretty much retouched this entire image here. I've removed whatever was in the water over here. I had a little orange dot right here that I removed. Um, I mean, I've, I've done a lot so far and I probably can't even go as far as removing the shadows of this tree. 
And there you have it. Um, we kind of toyed with a little bit of the tools. Take a moment and just kind of practice with some of these retouching tools. Just to recap, we've looked at the crop tool. We played with the exposure, some color correction. I showed you how to use the spot healing brush to get you started. Um, and yeah, we've basically done some basic photo editing techniques. So hopefully you understood some foundational essential uh, photo editing techniques in Photoshop and you are able to maybe enhance some of your images and retouch and do some things effectively. Go ahead and get started with your design challenge for this module just for some further development. And thanks for joining me.